Don? Where's Don? I'm here. Oh. Here All right, so this is the uh, Nitto brand, N-I-T-T-O, SF3D Crote, K-R-O-T-E. It's a, um, uh, out of an old, uh, I say old, uh, mid-80s uh, Japanese uh, graphic novel series. Could be 70s also. Yeah. Is that that 120th series? Uh, yeah. Yes. These hit the states about 85. They hit the states in, in the mid-80s. Yeah. That's a Right. Um, so it's a 120th scale kit. Uh, I started it about 30 years ago, and I finished it uh, about a week and a half ago. Um, along the line, it uh, lost a few small pieces, so I fabricated some pieces. I added some pieces, scratch built, like the uh, radar unit on the top there, the rotating radar. And um, uh, I uh, used wire for the hydraulic lines going to the um, uh, going to the leg units um, <coughs> and just finished it in a uh, um, sand brown finish and then used a, a sponge and some uh, boot brown uh, <coughs> to um, uh, to put some uh, uh, camel finish on it um, I printed some uh, unit markings, actually uh, army markings. Um, one of them actually survived. The uh, Army of the Twelve Monkeys, which is on the top of the um, top of the unit there, because um, the decal sheet got long lost. So I figured, yeah, why not just mix two different science fiction uh, deals together on it. We really please ourselves anyway, right? The right. monkey's head. You'll see it in the video. Oh, okay. Twelve little monkeys yeah. all the way around. Oh. <laughs> One by eleven. Okay. Yes. And um, used stretch sprue for the long aerial. Uh, bent uh, a wire <laughs> RDF antenna on the side there. And um, just had fun finally, uh, uh, finally getting it together. It was uh, a good build. Uh, there's probably three or four people that are going to say, what? That kid's worth so much money and he actually mm. built it. Yeah, <laughs> I did. Um, Don't you want to reach out and slap people like that? Yeah. And then uh, I just used some uh, uh, spackle on the base and uh, laid some sand on it and uh, took a, a rock from the front yard and a big sledgehammer and cracked it into a bunch of pieces to make the pile of rocks. And uh, and that's about it. Hmm. Impressive. That's yeah. really, really that's great. Those are nice kits, yeah. They were. It was. It was fun to build. I figure the early days is when the early first came out. Some of the multimedia because they had the photo etch with it. Uh, if you look, the, they call yeah, power actually, pipes or actually small springs. It does have the photo etch? Yeah. The one piece that still survives right there. So. Um, yeah. He was a king. I mean, at the time they were cool. It was really cool. Yeah. And unfortunately, even back then, they were still 30, 40 bucks in the 80s for the right. kit. Right. So they haven't really got up a whole lot by comparison. They're going to burn probably. Between now and then. Yeah. But well, the croats are selling them for about 90 on eBay. Right? Oh, they are now? Oh. See? All right. Yeah. And they, but the one they never so repopped, too. No, I used to have four of them. I think one of my daughter's boyfriends helped uh, themselves to several. And now you have none? I don't know. Luckily, I still have three. But that's the reason I haven't bought any more because they are. Got yeah. Them. I guess the hot one out of their group is the new spotter. Because yeah. they never they never redid that one for right. uh, who did those? Uh, Everything. Well, it was Nito. Now it's Nito, uh, and then somebody else redid it Mac, uh, as Mac. Yeah. Mac three or Mac something 3, like that. Mac three thousand or something. And then I think Wave was doing some of the kits. Yeah, uh, and I think the company was bought by uh, uh, Hasegawa, and it's going yeah. under their Bandai name now. I think. Hmm. Yeah. But I'm not sure. Although Falk is listed as Hasegawa. Yeah. So they, okay. Well, that's a newer one. Right. Well, right. they've made like four different things. The only yeah. cool one is the fall. Yeah. That's, yeah, that's you. Yeah. Yeah. So.
Yeah. But I, I kept it simple. I didn't put a lot of lighting kits in it or noises or little fans or yeah. I've seen a few that have been modified with the uh, large cannons and yeah. Well, you're right. Bandai changed, bought some of the deal because they're making 135th scales, and one of the ones they did put out was the Nutrocker. 35th scale. Right. Yeah, because originally it was 76 when it was doing them. The Nitto was doing them. That's neat. All right.